Hey there Trail Mafia. So today I'm gonna do a little bit of a cleaning on the YXZ here. Plan on doing a little bit of a walkthrough video. Uh, I'm gonna time lapse the clean. So hopefully it only takes like three minutes on camera. It's probably gonna take me a half hour more here. Uh, got my cleaner here, foam cannon. Got my wonderful YouTube studio. Got a table here, another one on that. This side over here. And we're gonna use to uh, time lapse all this. So uh, let me get into it. Uh, we're gonna clean it up, do just a quick walkthrough on everything I did uh, on mods wise, like stuff like that. And then a giant box over there has an EMP glass windshield for this thing that I'm gonna get installed. Don't know if I'm gonna film it yet, and if I do, I may time lapse that as well and show you the final product. So, all right, I'm gonna get to it. Got the pressure washer all set up. I let Mother Nature do her little soak. It's raining today. I'll get everything set up and we'll get this time lapse going. Thank you. 
Turned out pretty good. Not really gonna go crazy on it right now because uh, we have a ride coming up tomorrow. We're gonna do some local stuff. Uh, but she cleaned up pretty good. That stuff I was using, they call it booty juice. Uh, it's just tied in uh, purple power or purple zap. And it takes all the mud stains out. It works pretty good. I mean, you guys didn't really get to see ahead of time, but she's pretty dirty. I still got a little mud in there, but uh, I'll get a little bit better of a clean once uh, once we get back from this ride on Sunday and go from there. Alright, well, I'm going to get this pulled into the garage so I can go over a little bit of stuff and I'll stand in the rain and I'm going to get that windshield installed. Alright, back in a bit. Alright, we got her in the garage. Let's do a little walkthrough real quick. So, first thing first, start front, I guess. Right there, I have an HMF bumper. Uh, this one, a little damaged. I had to help get a razor out of the side, uh, out of the trail. That's why this is like this. But I'm not worried about that. That's all broke. Uh, HMF bumper put on here. This thing is really stout. I love this bumper. It protects your headlights. That's the main thing I was looking for uh, over the stock bumper. Uh, it does everything that you want. Um, this is an SS, so I have the pod lights in the center. Uh, stock they come on with the high beams these things are awesome um, So let's go to the headlights headlights. I'm running a heretic he LED headlight kit with halos Here I'll kick on the halos so you can see what they look like. I'll come in here and uh You'll see them later. There they are so Got halos on the bottom eyelids, whatever you want to call them uh, these things are seriously bright. The only problem I have with these is keeping the mud out. The headlights, the LED, eyeball, eyelids, whatever you want to call them, everything from that. Um, I do have a whole set of rock lights on this. Uh, these are Bluetooth programmable. Um, funny thing is, these, these are actually zip tied on there. Uh, when I installed these, I zip tied them um, because I didn't want to damage frame or put holes in plastic or anything like that. So I ended up zip tying them. That was a year and a half ago and I haven't had any issues since. Uh, so this thing has a full 3 8 skid plate all around. Uh, you got a nice thick skid plate the whole way down the length of it. It's a one piece deal. Kind of a pain whenever you gotta get up underneath it, but uh, definitely does its job protecting everything. I got A-arm guards here. I ha do not have the trailing rubs in the back because it does not allow me to do what I want to do um, whenever I get a strap down toy hauler. Uh, other than that, suspension, everything stock. I just tuned it to my riding and went from there. Uh, I do have a winch. I believe this is a 2,500 pound winch. Uh, it's helped me out in a lot of binds. Kept everybody, and pulled a lot of people out of the trails. Um, this, I just have running off a rocker in there. You'll see the full interior here in a second. Got all the cabling, everything ran right there for the everything like that. And then I have a, just an Amazon big clevis winch uh, hook. And it does everything I want. It's currently running cable. Um, I was just gonna let the cable run out. Whenever the cable started fraying, I was gonna get it changed out to synthetic rope, which has its benefits and not. Uh, I do run 911 fab on three corners. That one back there got destroyed in an accident. Uh, these things are tweaked because I don't know why. These things just love to just grab every river weed, everything like that. And they'll actually just rip everything off and tweak them. These are simple enough to push back in place. Push them back. That one didn't really work well, but yeah. Um, that one was actually very damaged in the accident. It was actually touching a tire down there. That's why it's so messed up. This side, it was uh, kinked in in the bottom in the accident. That's why there's old deals. Uh, the plastic is pretty messed up on this. Uh, I was in a pretty bad accident with this. I was actually coming down through over there, um, down the road, 
and I was doing about 65, 70, and I hit a deer, and this thing just tucked and rolled over twice. Uh, so it was not a good day. I ended up getting everything situated with the insurance, everything like that. I do have new front and rear plastics ordered, but everything's back ordered. Can't do nothing with that. I ended up out a little damage to the roof too. I had to readjust to make that work. Uh, run stock roll cage. Even from the axe, I had a little bit of scuffs, abrasions, but no tweaking, nothing like that. Uh, I'm running a 30 inch light bar. The reason I did that was because I made my own custom mounts right here. I did not want to run the Yamaha flip windshield that everybody usually runs on these because I'm usually going under some stuff that like barely catches. There's been times that I've actually caught the light bar and stuff. And I don't want to have my windshield up on top and it's getting destroyed, ripped off and stuff. That was a very expensive windshield. That was actually cheaper than the Yamaha flip windshield. Uh, so I ended up doing that whole custom wiring and this whole deal. Uh, in here you can actually see hiding. I got a windshield washer bottle. Uh, that is actually for the windshield washers that I had on my old windshield, which is over here. Uh, the reason I took this thing off was because there's only so much you can do with plastic windshield when you have wiper. You do end up with scratches no matter how much you try not to. Um, I want full glass. I've been planning on going full glass for a while. Uh, but this thing just, it's had its time on there just under two years and it did me well and it protected me for everything. I ended up taking off the top in the summer so it would get a little more airflow through the windshield. Uh, I did put seismic fence on this one. The windshield washer kit's gonna be pulled off of this to be put on a new windshield. I just put an Amazon cheapy hand uh, hand operated windshield wiper. Uh, this thing is going to have windshield washers. I have the uh, manual wiper right here. I just did an unboxing, checking on it, make sure the window wasn't cracked and shipping. Um, box wasn't too beat up when I got here, but just want to check before I get too far into it. So let's go around the passenger side. Uh, we got Nerf bars. I put these Nerf bars, these are just super ATV Nerf bars because I was having issues that even when I went through stuff, it didn't matter. It caught the rear fender and then started tweaking stuff. That rear fender is from the accident, stuff like that. So, yeah, um, that's messed up again. That's one of the things getting replaced. Uh, the Nerf bar protects that a lot. It kicks the rear end over whenever you need it to and go from there. Still running the stock Yamaha bead locks, 14 inch, and I put Mass Effects 30 by 10 14s on this. Uh, these are eight flat tires. I had an entire video for anybody that didn't watch that. Um, definitely a pretty good tire. It's got me out of a bunch of stuff. Uh, when I get over here, we'll go on driver's side to get the in cab stuff. Uh, I got a little, this was set up for my amp. I took it out of there. Um, I don't really use it. It doesn't make, serve a purpose to me. Uh, inside, you'll see all the wiring that I have in here. Uh, this wiring, this is my full fuse box for everything that I did. It is not running off of anything factory. This is all aftermarket stuff, all custom fuses, everything like that. This is my complete fuse and relay center for all the additional lights, the rock lights, uh, light bar, radio i got a, a cb hiding in there that i'll show you and stuff like that uh back here we got we got whips that one's currently not working uh these were pretty damaged in the accident that's why they're just zip tied on the side like that i had them they were still wired up and they they did work up until that one broke uh, the connector broke on it um and i just put them there because why not i had them we got american flags hanging on them There's, when those are actually out and flying, they're pretty cool. I uh, got rear lights. Uh, these rear lights, lifesavers. On the rear on trail at nighttime or even starting to be nighttime, definitely worth having that. Uh, got rear speakers. I believe those are four inch pile uh, UTV speakers, so they are mud resistant. Um, I got the, them fully wired. I'm only running one channel on the amp. Uh, there, there's a reason behind it. Um, but uh, I ended up having one of my old speakers get damaged in that same accident and uh, messed up some wiring up to the amp. So I just ran it on one channel and just run it across, try to side the passenger side. It's not like two channels really doing anything for us anyway. So back here, 
Uh, this is just a uh, cheapy Amazon Kohler. Uh, there's nothing really in it. It's enough. It'll, it'll hold uh, 18 cans in a small bag if you want to put that much in it or you put less in it and stuff in there. Uh, the ammo cans will go into them. This is where I keep most of my trail side stuff that I need. Like, I got my glue tray kit in here. I have a jump pack that I carry. Uh, and then some of the stuff, fuses, stuff like that. a couple of wrenches in there. Uh, this one, these are about to get revised here shortly. And uh, I got stuff on the way for it. So, get into this side. And, you know, this is just a uh, typical. Harbor Freight, Amazon, uh, Harbor Freight or Amazon deal. I got the rest of my tire repair stuff. I got a full tire repair kit that includes all the plugs, the glue, everything, the valve stem remover and everything like that. I use this stuff because this stuff is way better than the cheapy tire repair stuff that we have in there. Looks like I didn't get sealed too well whenever I put it away. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't sealed. So, gonna clean that box out. I uh, got some more power plugs in here. I bought a big kit. I will keep them in there. I'm not hurting them. Zip ties. Everybody knows about zip ties. You gotta have zip ties on the trail. Uh, I keep fixed flat on me because I do not have compressed air. Most of the time I'm with somebody, they do have compressed air. So it's not that big a deal. But I keep fixed flat on me. Yeah, out in bind. The glue tread kit over there actually has a bunch. And then I just got some random assortment of stuff in here. Got some garbage in here I gotta clean out. Uh, I got some wire, some more tire repair stuff those are tire patches that really don't need to be in there um lighter still work oh it's not working i'm gonna have to get that replaced i keep flashlight in here and some stuff like that just uh typical stuff you're gonna need on the side of the trail uh nothing really special about it but it does give me an area outside of the cab because i do not have a lot of room in a yxc store stuff so it gives me stuff, room outside the cab to be able to do that. And believe me, there's a lot of additional storage stuff that I put in there and there's even more because one thing you always need in a side-by-side -side is storage. Especially if you ever plan on doing overlanding and stuff. We do every once in a while. Uh, you'll see that nice, beautiful antenna right there. That is for the CB. I installed that there. Honestly, just keep it out of the trees, keep it from getting ripped off. Uh, my CB wire runs right through there and everything like that. Getting into the engine, stock engine, I don't know for how long. Uh, this thing served me very well. I didn't really, I don't ever really find myself wanting additional power, but having additional power would be nice. Um, you never know when you're going to need it. Uh, I do have small block off plates, uh, Canon filter. I went to a dry secondary filter and I have an air box spacer. Uh, that's probably going to be some upcoming videos because I think I may be going to the Alba Silent but Deadly uh, kit on this. Maybe doing that. Do cams on that as well. We got one light working on that thing at least. Uh, so same deal here. The flags. All that. Uh, get into the driver's side. So I uh, got the same Nerf bars over here. Same tires. Not much different from the passenger side. Where everything differs is right here. So when you're sitting in here, you have this nice big tablet. So this tablet is Bluetooth connected up to my radio system, which is right here. This is my Bluetooth controller and it's all killed by this button right here. It kills everything. So if I restore it for a long period of time, it's there. It kills it. No winch, nothing like that. Windshield wiper, which is actually my washers. LED light bar, rear lights and rock lights which are my halos up there and the rock lights and the whips uh so go from there back behind that hiding is a cb it was a good place to put it i wasn't really using that space for anything and it keeps everything going uh ss is also came with uh, some nice interior lights that really do absolutely nothing but they're there so they tried i guess so whenever you go back in here we'll fire this thing back up and i'll show you this really nice System that I put in here, it's all custom. Uh, you got your tablet so you can watch your your side-by-side -side mo Trail Mafia videos on YouTube. And we're all connected up right now. This right here will control, well, it's not connected actually, it seems. 
Oh, that's connected. Okay. No, oh, it's all showing it, but. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's really nice. I, I custom built that system for everything um, so that I can listen to some music. I wasn't looking to spend a ton of money on a radio. I used to have a real cheap one, but ended up going with a full custom system. I'm running 800 watt amplifier. I got speakers right above the seats. I got those speakers back there. Uh, that one needs to be re-clogged. Bumped it or something. Um, on this, this is a, well, my navigation. I use this to run Ride Command. Um, if we're down in West Virginia, I use it to run Bob T Maps. Uh, anything from that point. Uh, and Ride Command is really nice because you got this group ride option, and I have a bunch of different groups in there. And whoever I'm riding with, I turn it on. I think we're on the crew. That's who it was, and that puts me active on the map. So, wherever I am, I don't even know where I am. So, yeah, right there. And then, it's you can track your rides, everything like that. Honestly, it's a really good system. Uh, it does have its downfalls, but it's still worth having out there. It, it, you can definitely use this to go back and oh, I didn't turn off. Uh, go back and find all your trails and everything at that point. My hands are a little wet so I'm not liking it. So I would just come up as a dot right here and it'd show my username and everybody could come find me. I've used this to track down people in the past a lot and it works really well. So we'll get out of that. Uh, you'll see that I usually run that with Pandora in the background as music and go from there. Uh, just stock everything here. This is an SS, so it is a sport shift. Uh, you put a, put a drive reverse, whatever from there. Uh, when it comes to this, so these are stock lights. Oh, stock loading, heretic. And then that's high beam. And you go back down a low. And then on top of that, I got a light bar right there. And then in the back, I got reverse lights if I need them. So it's all there. Everything from that point. I do use the charger for the tablet. I have a magnetic charger that I use off Amazon. I just wanted to see how it worked. It, it does okay. Uh, you gotta keep an eye on it. Sometimes it'll bounce off on rough trails. Uh, CB radio is mounted right here. It does work pretty good. I don't find myself using it as much as I thought I would. Um, just typical on that kind of stuff. So, uh, the only other thing I got in here is storage. So, on each bag, I have this rig gear kit. This is actually for a player's razor, if I remember right. And I want to say it was an 800 or 900. I use these. Uh, we don't really use the bags on it too much because whatever you get in there is going to get wet but it's nice to have if you really need it uh, and just watch your water levels. Um, but those are there. The main thing I bought them for was the, the knee pad that it has right there. Uh, whenever you're in there, you can't really see it. I put a, a golf cart mirror, I guess you can call it, in here. You can, uh, you can see a lot and it eliminates you have to turn around because you're not able to really see anything off of that side. Uh, you can't really move out if your seat it in. It's kind of a pain in the ass if you're out on the trails. So I got that in there. Uh, you'll see this nice rag hanging out. I got a PRP upper bag. Um, we use this every ride. We keep our phones in here, stuff like that. This stays dry. Um, right now it's hanging down because... Uh, it's, I left it full of stuff, probably shouldn't have. Uh, we keep rags on this side, phones on this side. We'll even put phones on that side if we need to. Uh, in the back, this is all of our... Let's see what we got in here. 
I keep my gloves in there and any non-refrigerated trail snack you keep in there. Uh, that way it's just easy to do um, and you can get to it pretty quickly if you want, you need it. Uh, no windshield right now, so we're gonna get that EMP put on here in a second. Uh, the only other thing I got is I have this Amazon GoPro mount. Uh, it works for a roll cage. It, thing works great. Um, it's solid. It doesn't move. I love the way it sits and how it works. Um, you, it's adjustable if you really want to do anything with it. And it gives you that. Well, hold on. Let me show you. That's your view uh, a little bit further back, but it sets it up really nicely for uh, your riding. You're able to see everything from the driver's side to the passenger side and everything in front of us. So uh, that's it for the walk around. I'm going to get that EMP windshield put on and I'm probably gonna put that in another, way, another video because it looks like this one's gonna be getting a little long. So have a good day side by side Trail Mafia. And I'll see you on the next one. Alright, bye.